Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review The Feast. And this is a new Welsh horror film from IFC Midnight, and it's from director Lee Haven Jones, who previously has worked on a bit of Doctor Who recently, and is starring Annis Elwi, who plays Katie, who is this young woman who is brought in to be the like the waitress or like the hostess for a fancy dining party between a wealthy Welsh family and a businessman and a fe uh, local farmer in the area and trying to do some business over dinner. And strange things uh, happen afoot. Foot. So that happens a lot of serious connotations in this film. But things start going weird because you get a sense from Katie like, there's something dark underneath. You don't really hear her talk. She's very silent. It's The presence around her is very foreboding. And she keeps making these connections with different characters and bad things seem to be happening. All with some really un... Ooh, hard to watch imagery. And it really works because it's unnerving. It's intense. There's a particular shot involving a bloody leg with maggots, and you're just like, no thank you. And plenty of buckets of blood and guts in this film, and you have these, like, high society people that are up above everybody else in these beautiful Welsh mountains, and things come to to pass in terms of making them confront certain things, because it's like, this definitely feels like one of those like very artistic fable like horror films where it's like there's a lot of people here weird things happen to them all for a reason and that's a general gist of this film and like by the time you get to the end there's not a whole lot of solid committed narrative drive here and by the end it's just kind of like well i guess it's kind of how you were going to expect this to end as this film has been going on and I definitely think this film could leave a lot of people wanting in terms of how it's resolved and in terms of how it wraps things up but it's I feel like it's a fitting ending to what they were going for but it does limit it to have like more of an impact because like basically after a while you're just like well I don't know if any of these people are gonna make this out okay and most of them are very much not okay. And what Haven Jones is able to do is create this dark, ominous, and foreboding atmosphere throughout the whole entire film that works perfectly in trying to create this atmosphere of just dark and disturbing things that happen to all these people, and you're just along for the ride. I don't know if I f feel like I really connected emotionally to any of these characters, which also could be a drawback in terms of finding investment in the story. But you know, you have all these strange different people with all really strong performances and bold performances. That's the thing. You have Elwi who is dark, intense, and just has presence wherever she goes in this film. And you know something's going to happen as you follow her around. And then you have other performances from uh, Nia Roberts and Julian Lewis-Jones and Stefan Sendid and Siona Lom Davies. And each of them have very distinct characters, are portraying a certain level of like either hedonism or just greed and selfishness. And they each embody those representations very well. And along the way, everybody gets their just desserts, but they'll have to get through their feast first. I hope you enjoyed that. It's dark, it's disturbing, it's unnerving. It could have been a little bit more emotionally connective or could have had a bit of a more, more fleshed out narrative. But in the end, this little fable accomplishes what it wants to do, which is scare you, unnerve you, and be and have some kind of message behind it in terms of how humans are. So, if that sounds like something that you want to enjoy, go check out The Feast. But those are my thoughts on the film. Let me know what you think.
and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.